Hi everybody. So in this video we're going to do another example of sum and difference of cubes factoring. Now this one that you're looking at right here, uh, I, I really do like this question. That said, uh, if you ever were factoring something down and, and you pulled out a factor and it was x minus 8, you're done. Okay, we don't really want you to go any further than that. The purpose of this little exercise here is to simply show you that there are circumstances where if you need to, you can actually take this one step further. So, I mean, I know that 8 is a perfect cube. It's 2 cubed. And I've got two terms, so I've got a, a difference here. It could be a difference of cubes, but x by itself is not a perfect cube. But I can force it to behave that way by doing this. So I just follow the pattern that I've established just really doggedly here. I am going to take the cube root of each term here. Now, what's the cube root of x? Well, I don't know. So I'm just going to write it as the cube. Whoops. Sorry, I can, I can do that better. The cube root of x. And then the cube root of 8 is 2. And we maintain the same operation. So it's the cube root of x minus 2. Then what we do is we take that first term and we square it. So this is going to become the cube root of x squared. We multiply those two terms together. So we get 2 multiplied by the cube root of x. And we change the operation. So this becomes addition. And then we take that second term and we add the square at the end. And there you go. That's how we would go about factoring x minus 8. If we needed to, and you're going to find that um, every once in a while, it is an easier thing to do to factor that expression down than perhaps some other algebra that you're going to do. Now, by the way, just, just for fun, just for fun, let's take a quick look at this here. This one could also be taken down a little bit further. The cube root of x could be written as the cube root of the cube root of x minus the cube root of 2. And then we would take the cube root of the cube root of x and, you know, we would square it. So this would be the cube root of x squared. And this would be plus the cube root of 2 multiplied by the cube root of the cube root of x. And then we would have the cube root of 4 when we, when we finish it off here. Now, can I do that? Yes. But no, no, as a general rule, that's that's not what we want you to do. Just want you to be aware that that is something that you could do.